why the National Weather Service in Gray has extended uh, Mallory, the winter weather advisory all the way to the coast till 10 a.m. because of those snow and ice covered roadways. As you head into the interior as well as the mountains, it goes till 5 a.m. on Thursday. Again, a winter weather advisory. Here's what's happening on our total storm tracker. A switch over to sleet and freezing rain down in southern York County, but we still have snow falling across much of the area. Uh, we have a little bit of a breakout in Brunswick at this hour. We had our total weather spotter Alice tell us that a little while ago, but as we go ahead and track this as it uh, moves in, as our latest scan just came in, the snow now moving through that area. Uh, as uh, that snow continues to fall and as it moves off to the north, we'll be seeing that move, uh, 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 move that snow and that light precipitation to the north over the next 20 minutes or so. We have another round of snow now moving through downtown Portland at this hour. You can see that back edge now moving across the back cove. And this is the area where we're seeing it switch over to sleet at this hour down in South Berwick, where our total weather spotter has reported that now moving into Kennebunk. Still snow over in northern New York County. But as we widen things out, there's plenty more coming our way, as you can see on our total storm tracker, especially as we widen it out. This big storm system that caused severe weather yesterday is our next round of rain that will come in late tonight. And that will change all our winter weather over to more spring-like weather with winds, a heavy rain, and even some thunderstorms. So here we are at 8 o'clock in the morning. The switchovers happen for much of the coast and inland areas. This is where things will get very slippery across the area. Now again, as Mallory has been talking about, they salted the roads early, so a lot of the roadways are looking pretty good, but sidewalks and uh, side streets will be dealing with slippery conditions. Then as we head into noon, the icing starts to happen in the southern and northern terrain, and it lingers for a while, especially when we see the precipitation start to pick up in intensity at 3 o'clock. So the White Mountains, Freiburg up through Rangeley and Farmington and Greenville, You'll be seeing significant icing, especially at 6 o'clock tonight. That's heavy rain, then heavy sleet and freezing rain. So that's where the ice buildup will happen during the evening hours. Then we switch all over to heavy rain across the area, especially uh, at 3 a.m. in the mid-coast and Portland areas. And the good news is the heavy rain's out of here by 10 a.m., but we'll still have scattered rain showers across the area. As far as the ice uh, buildup will be mainly to the north. We'll have an ice glaze for all our areas, but the freezing rain will be off in the mountains as we head into the uh, evening hours. Here's a look at the eight day forecast. We're looking at 35 today, 52 tomorrow, then some flurries on Friday. The weekend looks pretty good. Temperatures will be in the mid to upper 30.